Hey guys, welcome to Metal Bros Gaming. I am Silver Soul, and I, I am with the one and only Steel Blue. Hello again, people. This is Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Um, this game is amazing. Yeah, that goes without saying. <laughs> um, oh, the sweet irony of killing a collector with a collector rifle. Damn all of you collectors. Um, okay, so this game has been out for like, what, years now. Like, at least Actually, it came years. out last year. Yeah. Well, it's been out for a long time. We've played a lot of it. You've played definitely a lot more than me. Well, like, several That's times. Before. Just because, unlike you, I... Oh my god, I'm playing... With, I'm trying to use the Warframe control. <laughs> ah, I keep pressing shift to sprint, I'm like, ah! <laughs> That's what happens when we go from one game to another. Um, okay, so basically... Uh, Steel here is playing as uh, a Steel and Blue. I'm playing colored. as Captain Generic, the human <laughs> soldier. <laughs> Captain Generic, and I am playing as Edie, basically the um. A land infiltration. Alliance infiltration unit, yeah. Uh, right, this is only on bronze, by the way, guys. This is the easiest difficulty. Which there's only two of us, so we just sort of wanted to show you what the gameplay is like. I get wings. Behind us. Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> he tried to dodge roll into a barrel. Um. That's what melee is. I haven't played this in a while, so I, I, I'm okay. trying. To, I'm trying to use the warframe controls here. Yep. I'm pressing E to do melee, I'm like, why is it not working? And, yeah. Lol. That's, that's great. Oh, yay! Uh, recover objects. I didn't even realize we'd done two waves. Um, okay. So, um, every couple of rounds, guys... Oh, wow, this is a close one. Um, you get an objective, for those of you that don't know. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, obviously, you can't sprint and you can't jump, you can't roll, you can't run. Ah, uh, when you're carrying an objective. Uh, I'll grab this one too. Because I think Edie's a little bit faster than you are. And you are a tank, so you can take all that shit. Oh, oh shit. Ah! I swear to god, these are like a gentle stroll away. Oh, you didn't have to do that, I could've gotten you up. Oh, hello. Yeah, I haven't played for so long, I actually kind of don't have to do everything. I forgot how to breathe. This is more intense than the time I forgot how to sit down. Okay, do you want to talk about our loadouts? Do we need to? I don't know. What gun are you using? Mm, the collector rifle. As I address when I said the sweet irony of killing a collector with a collector rifle. Yeah. Um, so basically... Yeah, it's... What? Is it an ultra rat? I have no fucking clue. Honest. It's either a rare or an ultra rare. It's one of the new guns that came out like a little while back. Yeah. So um, EA Bioware. They made the game, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yes. Bioware. Uh, uh EA Bioware. Same thing, but mm, kind of different. So yeah, they put out like a bunch of new DLC, which to their credit has been free, which except uh, save for um, additions to the campaign. To the campaign, yeah, but, but additions for multiplayer have thing. been free, which I'm incredibly pleased at because you know, who wants to pay for DLC? Who wants to pay for anything, really? Yeah. So yeah, that's... Call of Duty and you know all other modern warfare shooters, they learn something. Call of Duty is in a game. Oh, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're using the collector rifle. I'm actually using a sniper rifle, as automatic as this gun is. Uh, this is a sniper rifle. Um, it is the weakest and the... Oh, sorry, it's the second weakest, I believe. Um, and the most rapid-fire sniper rifle there is. Um, basically, I use this gun because uh, with this... I guess with this build... Hold up, I got you. Um, yep. I am going for speed and melee. Um, so it only sort of 
really makes sense that I take an automatic weapon, and the SMGs that I have unlocked are all terrible. So basically I wanted an automatic weapon that pierces through armor, which sniper rifles do in this game. Oh, well done. Yep. Ah! <laughs> I've got frags, didn't even notice. <laughs> it's just like, oh wait, I should really have been using these. <laughs> oh, flanking. Um, yeah, so we're on to Chanka. Curving in our world. Uh, yes, yes it is. Oh, look at Sam. Punch him! Don't get too close to this, that will kill you. I know. It's they'll, they'll kill you in your face, and your face <laughs> will be pain. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I'm wearing it. You're just being jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. For those of you that don't know, that's from a movie called um, Your Highness, and watch you should it. all go and watch it. It's amazing. It stars Danny McBride and James Franco. Uh, some of you may know Danny McBride did a series called Eastbound and Down, which is about a former pro baseball player who's looking to make a comeback. And James Franco is from like you know, everything amazing. <laughs> One of the few actors that I think I would I would watch a movie just because he's in it. You mean one of the few actors you actually know? Yes, one of the few. Um, heads up, guys! I do not know actors' names most of the time. Um, unlike my uh, co-worker here, say something and I'll just be like, yes. flies over my head, buddy. They're not important enough for me to remember their name. Uh, unfortunately, unlike my cohort here, I care about stuff like that. Oh. I I do. Oh, oh, oh it's an escort. Oh, yay! Mascot. Yes. My associate is pop culturally challenged. That's why I don't really care. It's, it's pop culture, why would I care? Because I said so. Speaking of um, pop culture, uh, the ah! date that this video is released, um, did you hear that um, Disney did the unspeakable? Oh wow, I'm down. Yes, they have decided to fuck. Lucas they decided to close LucasArts, which... No, 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 I liked the first word he used. Even though it wasn't used in reference to this, I liked that first word. They decided to fuck LucasArts in his face. Ow. And stop making games. Which depresses me greatly. I'm I'm a gigantic Star Wars fan. And I've, I've liked it since I first saw Episode 5 back in, like, the 90s. On VHS. Uh... Dark times. <laughs> dark times indeed. Well, back in the dark ages. Back in the dark ages before the glorious era. Invention of, of fire. <laughs> <laughs> before the invention, before humanity discovered fire, there was the VHS. <laughs> oh. um, so yeah, I'm. Yeah, you know, I. I can sort of understand why Lucas sold Star Wars. You know, I wouldn't have done it personally if I created something as awesome as Star Wars, but that's just me. I guess he's so, really bored with his idea by now. Well, you know? he's milked it enough. I mean, you know, he did the prequels, which I kind of like. You know, I will cut a bit of flack for that. You know, I'm not going to be an elitist and say, oh, it's not as good as the original, therefore it's shit. You know, I, I do like the prequels. Yeah, I, I like what they've what they've done for the series, opening it, opening it up to a, a younger audience. Hans Yolo. Hans Yolo swag. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, then they have the Clone Wars, which I I I, li I did the animation style. I really like the animation on it. It's very clean, very well done. Big fan of the animation. Not so big on the story though. No, but eh. and that's just because you know it's a kid. I I, I watched it mainly because nice story. mainly just for the fact that it was Star Wars. Yep. Hmm. It's like you know. So yeah, I've grown up on games like the Jedi Knight series, who sorry, the the Jedi Knight series like Outcast and Academy, which I I played to death. I played Academy so much the disc actually wore out. You've played KOTOR enough that you know just about every... I can basically game. quote KOTOR word for word. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think I've put something like 13, 1400 hours into that game. 
Yeah, I, I can always play Kotor. Yeah, I, I lost the disc a few times, so I kept buying them, and then I decided to buy them on Steam just recently, actually. Which is very, very good. Oh, melee kill. Nice. I did all the work. I was shooting <laughs> Sorry, let's start, let's start talking about Star Wars and start talking about Mass Effect. Yeah, okay, so Mass Effect, um, one of my... Oh, sorry, actually, I'll correct myself. This is by far my favorite sci-fi series ever, the storyline. This, I played number one back on the first... One of the first days it came out when you said, Joe, check out this sick game. And I played that, and I ended up buying it because I thought it was really good. Like, the idea that you can make choices... People say, oh, the game still ends the same, and it's the same game, they just, you just get a little bit different story storyline. It's like, yes, but this is one of those games that you play for storyline. And it's immersive. When you get a choice, it's more immersive. Now, uh, you know, that, to, to add to that point, uh, in, in Mass Effect 2, they introduced the, uh, the Renegade Paragon Quick Decision System. It's not what it's actually called, but that's what I call it. Yeah. Um, which I thought was really good, you know. You, it, was, it prevented you from just sitting back and watching the cutscenes. Yeah, and then yeah just, and just spamming a button. Well, obviously yeah, so, you could. Well, you had to be on the ball if you wanted to get those those nice Paragon of Renegade points. Uh, you know. make some of the really good decisions, like um, saving Earth <coughs> Rex. <coughs> which, you know, if you didn't do, then you were playing the game wrong. I didn't say you're playing the game wrong, you just were playing at Renegade. Oh, okay, I was gonna say you're missing out on a big advantage later on. Well, yeah, series. correct. Nobody guys. ever thought that would actually matter, and then Mass Effect 3, and I was like, oh, by the way, uh, this game's a lot easier had you have kept him alive. It's not easier, you just don't have to put up with Erdnot Reeve. Ugh. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, okay. Help! They nearly took me out then, too. Yeah, unfortunately when you get shot by a fucking run, it's grenades everyone. Unfortunately when you get uh, when you get shot by a scion, they do knock uh, back and like stumble. Knock back and they screw your shields like in the butt. They molest your shields pretty much. Oh wow, a possessed scion, because that's bad. That's easy kill dude. He missed! What a noob! Where have we on now? Oh shit, we're on wave 9. Yeah, I know, right? I was just flying through. Excuse me! After you. Ladies oh, first! My chair is so uncomfortable, man. <sighs> okay, ah, oh, they're flanking against me. You say flanking, but... They're yeah, really I just... say just running into the bullets. I say flanking, but I mean running into our trap. Uh, this is Victorian. Oh no! No, go away! No, go away. No. Stop! Sir! Do not want to change our phone plan! <laughs> I, I get that- We didn't order any pizza! Go away, Dave, from it and t services. <laughs> Hello, this is IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh my god. <laughs> The sad thing is, what the hell? Just randomly took damage from someone? But yeah, the sad thing is, people do actually, you know, don't think to turn it off and on again. No, I know, and most of the time it fixes the problem. I know, right? So this is well, this, this is the first episode in our Mass Effect 3 series. Yep. Uh, currently Hopefully we're it's going to get more challenging after this one. As you can see, bronze, we just tear through. Yeah, currently we're running a series on another game called Warframe, which you should definitely go and watch. You should also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Now that the selfless plugging is out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> How else are we supposed to be exposed?
Alright, so, okay, just talking about Mass Effect 3 uh, and the multiplayer gameplay. Uh, so these missions, right? Obviously, this hasn't been the best video to show them off. I mean, we've got two escorts. Escorts are my least favorite. There is a Praetorian trying oh, to Oh, it just instantly killed me. Fuck me. I'm alive! <laughs> You're welcome. Goodbye. Thanks for the rocket. I, um, I must have shot him in the face and made him drop you. Which is good, but I didn't really want to die. So, guys, most of the big strong enemies, you might want to pull back, there's another one coming. I noticed. Um, most of the big strong enemies and stuff can just pick you up and, like, instantly get one hit. All of um, the big strong enemies can pick you up and kill you with Yeah, okay, all of them. Scions and Praetorians, you know, from the Collectors from 2, which have, they've gone under a visual update. Which I, I think they look amazing now, to be honest. They look amazing. They yeah, in the, I'm particularly impressed with Scion. Like, you know, I like what they did with them in 2, how they were just like gigantic bags of just husks. Yeah, cool. uh, I I well, that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why did we fail? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, there's another one. So, you know, you might think this is hectic, but <laughs> it's so not. Yeah, it's hectic, but you can easily kill everything. Yeah, it gets a bit... The, the difficulty... Son of a bitch! That was an abomination exploding. Yeah. Oh god damn it, leave me alone. They're like husks, but with steroids strapped to their steroids. Well, that's it, you know, this is the final wave extraction. I was gonna say C4 strapped to their C4, but okay. C4 strapped to the steroids, which is strapped to some C4, which is strapped to some more steroids. Which is pumped into their arms. Yeah. Clearly it's not pumped into their brain, because, you know, they're clearly not that smart. Uh, you wanna fuck that thing up? I don't know any rockets. Uh, I don't... Oh, I do have two rockets left. If you want, I can, but I think we nah, can take it. Yeah, we can take it. Wow, that was a nice jump. Um... What's up, Sion? Ow. Oh, yeah, um, with Scions, if you shoot little hostile things on their back, they can explode. They can or they do? They see they do, it does a lot of damage to them too. You're right, we got plenty of time. Okay. So that's uh, bronze, the easiest difficulty for Mass Effect 3. All right, guys, uh, we might leave that there. Yeah. Or do you want to do another another match? No, we'll leave it there for now. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. And yeah, as uh, Steel said, uh, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. See us.